And you were just promoted this I year. was, yes. Well, congratulations. Thank you. It's very so, exciting. We'll talk about it. What, yeah. What are you bringing to the table as the first female? Oh, that's, wow, that's a good question. Um, well, obviously, one of the things I want to do is it really explore the female characters on the show, which they, I think we've done a good job of. And having been on the show from the beginning, I'm one of the people who I feel has been very protective of Felicity and Laurel and giving them, you know, making sure that we hear their stories and get that kind of strong female perspective. And also, you know, I really, really believe in telling emotional stories and that resonate with that, not just relying on the action to sell the show, but being invested in Oliver's emotional journey and the other characters' emotional journeys through the season. And that's something I'll really be focusing on through the well, you through this While you're term. here, I'm one of the people who had a problem with Felicity's journey this year. But ben I love <laughs> I loved Thea's and Laurel's. Yeah. But Felicity really threw me for a loop. In what way? I'm very curious. Um, she became wishy-washy, unsure of herself and her career, and kind of wavered on her trust of Oliver. So yeah. what was going on with Felicity exactly? I think we wanted to, you know, maybe not fully successfully, but really wanted to explore um, some of the darkness. You know, we wanted to see what would happen if we put her through something of a crucible. And I, I don't know how successful we were in terms of exploring that, but the idea was, you know, we never meant to make her not strong or not forceful or not herself, but she was going through a lot. I mean, Oliver was going through a lot this season, and this was the first time we've actually kind of seen them more or less in a, something of a relationship, even though it wasn't fully, you know, culminated until the end of season three. But um, in season four, I think there, she's going to be in a better place, and we're going to have Oliver in a better place. And we're, I really, one of our kind of things we really want to do is explore more individual stories with her and with Diggle, not just make it solely about Oliver, even though the show is still Arrow, um, but really see, you know, what is it like when she goes home at the end of the day and, and what and meet more members of her family and maybe see her mother again and really live with her. And she's going to be taking on a big a bigger role in both in her day job and within the team. And I don't think you'll be seeing a lot of uh, weepy, sad Felicity this season. You know, something else with the back to the relationship aspect, with Oliver and Felicity, we've never seen them have a, a relationship per se. Whereas we saw Ray and Felicity have a relationship. Yeah. You know, they watched Doctor, we knew they watched Doctor Who together and that type of thing. What right. kind of a relationship will they have Oak City have in season four? Well, that's what we're going to explore. I mean, we've in the in between seasons, they've been together, very happily living um, in a city not to be named, but not in Starling City, and they're very, very happy. But you know, obviously, they're they're going to come back. He's going to be the Arrow and uh, return to that life, that mission. And we're really curious to see. And one of the things we really want to explore in the show is what is it like to have to try to have a relationship and be doing this crime fighting arrow superhero mission at the same time. So he's going to find out it's not mutually exclusive. <laughs> we haven't gone through all this for nothing. I hope. Not, no, not at all. <laughs> Are we going to continue to focus on the strong females? Absolutely, yes. I mean, Laurel is uh, going to be kicking butt and Thea as well. And we're really hoping this year to try to bring in a, a good female villain. We're not sure who it's going to be or how we're going to pull it off, but you know, a hero is only as good as the villain, and we want to see, you know, and that's a woman be Daniel Dark, which is cast. That is that is him. That is that you have one. You tease about him? Only that he's got powers that we've never seen on the show before, and he is not a meta. And powers he, like, as in, like the Flash kind of powers, like not like, meta powers. Like, no, nope. it's beyond that, and it's it's scary and super cool. We're really excited about it. Awesome. Yeah. He's,